Good morning. Let's talk about double absolute value inequality. Solving double absolute value inequality is one of those topics in pre-calculus where many students are confused because of the nature of the definition of absolute value. Let's recall that by definition, the absolute value of x is equal to this piecewise function where the first part of the piece is x whenever x is greater than or equal to zero, or the absolute value of x is equal to the negative of x if x is less than zero. So in this given double absolute value inequality, we are going to apply this piecewise definition for every absolute value, and that will result to four cases. Let's focus first on the absolute value x minus 3. Applying now the definition of absolute value, the absolute value of x minus 3 is equal to whatever is the number inside, that is x minus 3, when that number inside is greater than or equal to 0, that is when x minus 3 is positive. So when x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 0, we can solve for x by adding 3 to both sides of this inequality, and we will get a simplified form of x greater than or equal to positive 3. The second part of this piecewise definition is when the number inside is negative or less than 0, and this number inside is equal to the negative of whatever is that number inside. So we now have this form, negative of x minus 3, when x minus 3 is less than 0. And simplifying x minus 3 less than 0, we get x less than negative 3. This is the application of this definition of absolute value to the first absolute value in this double absolute value, which is the absolute value x minus 3. Now, applying the same definition of absolute value to the second absolute value in this example, we have the absolute value of x plus 2 is equal to the piecewise function where you just copy whatever is the number inside when that number inside is positive, and then simplify this. x plus 2 greater than or equal to 0 is just the same as x greater than or equal to negative 2. The second part of the piece of the definition is you get the negative of the number inside. So you have negative of x plus 2 when that number inside is less than 0. And then you simplify this. So we now have here four cases. And we are going to analyze this inequality piece by piece using these four conditions. If we put all these conditions now together, let's start with x greater than or equal to 3. So you have x greater than or equal to 3. So that means our boundary here is x equals positive 3, and we go to positive infinity. The other part is you have this x less than 3. So x less than 3 is going this way, and x greater than negative 2. So from negative 2, close interval, going to the right, and x less than 3, that is open interval here, going to the left. So we have this interval from negative 2 up to positive 3. And then when we look at this remaining condition, x less than negative 2, we have this part, open interval, and then going to negative infinity. So we can put all these different conditions on the number line to cover all the different possible scenarios. So let's solve now this absolute value inequality. Let's begin in the interval x is less than negative 2. For the absolute value of x minus 3, there are only two conditions. One is when x is greater than or equal to 3. The other one is when x is less than 3. But at the interval x less than negative 2, that would be covered by the second part of this piecewise definition. So what we're going to do is, when we remove this absolute value symbol, we are going to apply the definition. And since our interval is for x less than negative 2, we are going to copy the second part of the piecewise definition. So we have negative of x minus 3 plus the absolute value of x plus 2. We have here the absolute value of x plus 2. There are also two parts, when x is greater than negative 2, or the other is when x is less than negative 2. But our condition here is x less than negative 2. So we are going to copy the second part. So we have negative of x plus 2. 
this part takes care of this absolute value x plus 2 and then I copy less than 13. Then we just have to solve this absolute value. But let's do that later. For the next part, we are going to evaluate this given absolute value inequality at the interval from negative 2 to positive 3. So again, absolute value of x minus 3 has two parts. One is for x greater than or equal to 3 and the other is for x less than positive 3. So x less than positive 3 is covered by this interval. So we are going to get this again. You have negative uh, x minus 3 and then copy this plus sign and then evaluate the absolute value of x plus 2. There are two conditions here again. One is greater than or equal to negative 2. One is less than negative 2. But in this interval, we have x greater than negative 2. So we are going to get this part plus x plus 2. Copy the inequality symbol and then 13. That takes care of the second interval. Now for the last interval, the absolute value of x minus 3 is covered by the condition x greater than 3 in the first part of this piecewise definition. So therefore, we are going to get this x minus 3. x minus 3. That takes care of this first absolute value, then plus. Then the second absolute value, x plus 2. The absolute value of x plus 2 has two parts. One is for x greater than or equal to negative 2. The other is for x less than negative 2. But x greater than 3 is covered by the first part of the definition. So we'll get this x plus 2. And then copy less than, and then the 13. So these are now the different cases that we are going to solve separately. So solving here, we have negative x plus 3. Then we can distribute this minus x minus 2 less than 13. And so we get negative 2x, 3 minus 2 is positive 1, less than 13. So negative 2x is less than, subtract 1 from both sides to get 12. When we divide by a negative number, we are going to reverse the inequality. So we have x greater than negative 6. So at the first part, when x is less than negative 2, when x is less than negative 2, x is greater than negative 6. So let's graph this now. The condition is x less than negative 2. So let's put here the negative 2. x is less than. So it's an open interval going to the left. That's the condition. But our solution set is x greater than negative 6. So, so somewhere here, we have an open interval for negative 6. And it's going to the right. We're going to get the intersection of the condition and the solution set at this interval. And so we now have this interval from negative 6, open interval, up to negative 2, open interval. So the solution set for this part is from negative 6 to negative 2. Let's solve this second inequality. So distribute the negative sign. We have negative x plus 3 plus x plus 2 less than 13. Negative x plus x gives a 0, so we have 5 less than 13, which is true. In other words, for this interval, any point on the interval negative 2 to positive 3 is a solution set in this inequality. So let's do the graph. So the graph now is our condition is from negative 2, close interval, so we include the negative 2, going to 3, open interval. So this is our 3, open interval. In our solution set is all those points because we have a true inequality here. So we can now graph this part. That comprise the solution set for our second inequality. And our interval here is from negative 2, and negative 2 is included, so we have close interval, up to positive 3, open interval. Now, for the interval x is greater than or equal to 3, let's solve this inequality. We have x plus x is 2x, negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1, 
less than 13. Add 1 to both sides to get 14. Then divide by 2, x is less than 7. Now, for the graph, our condition is x is greater than or equal to 3. So 3 is included, and we go to the right. And the solution set is x less than 7. So we can locate somewhere here, 7, open interval, and we shade going to the left, and get the intersection with our condition. So the interval, therefore, is from 3, close interval, up to 7, open interval. Now getting now the union of these three solution set, we have a solution set from negative 6, open interval, all the way to 7, open interval, and all the points in between are connected. So this is now our graph, and our solution set is from negative 6, open interval, up to 7, open interval. Now, how do we write this in inequality? Inequality, our solution set is the set of all x's, let me write here, such that that x is between negative 6 and positive 7. So the set of all x's such that we have that condition. In interval notation, it's from negative 6 up to positive 7. So this is how we solve double absolute value inequality. We have to apply the definition of the absolute value for every absolute value in the given inequality. And then we are going to come up with our intervals based on the conditions. And then for each interval, we are going to apply the definition to the given inequality and then come up with a solution for every interval independent from each other. And then we are going to put together all the different solution sets in each of those intervals to come up with our final answer. Thank you very much. Thank you.